Hello, hello guys, welcome back to Quantum Mechanics. Um, in this video, we're actually tackling operators, commutating and uncommuting operators. I'm actually doing a follow-up example from the previous video that I did, where we're able to show um, two operators that actually commuted, you know what I'm saying? And in this um, video, the question is, can momentum and position be determined simultaneously? You know what I'm saying? So basically what is being asked is, to these two operators, which is the position operator and the momentum operator, do they actually commute? You know what I'm saying? And if this equals to zero, then yes, a momentum and position can be determined simultaneously. If you can satisfy this condition, then um, momentum and position can be determined simultaneously. Okay let's just dive right into it um position operator momentum operator being applied to g of x minus momentum operator position operator being applied to g of x okay the question is what does this equals to? Okay, the position operator is just an x, right? Um, and then the momentum operator is minus i h d over d of x being applied to g of x minus um, the momentum operator minus i h prime d over d of x right and then the the position operator is just an x i just x multiplied by g of x okay cool continuing from here um okay there's nothing i can really um, simplify further on um, on this side I can just multiply everything out so it's gonna be minus um, I H multiplied by X D over D of X in the de derivative applied to G of X minus um, okay negative multiplied by negative is a positive right so it's going to be a positive i h um then the derivative of x pi by g of x okay okay this remains the same right plus i okay so looking here this is um um um, um differentiate differentiation in terms of x being applied to x multiplied by g of x so we are going to use what i think you guys would recall from high school the product rule you know we're going to use the product rule so the product rule is going to be x multiplied by d over d of x multiplied by g of x plus g of x. Then the derivative of x is going to be a 1, right? And then we continue minus i. It's x d derivative being applied to g of x plus i h prime x d. okay plus i h prime g of x okay can you guys see that this and this are the same right so this and this their addition will equals to zero 
but we are not left with a zero you know what i'm saying we are not left with a zero the answer that we remain with is i um divided by the Planck's constant multiplied by the g of x so what does this say this is not equals to zero hence or oh, therefore momentum and position can not be determined simultaneously right so this is just an example that um that i wanted to just do you know for you guys to see that um you know it's not always zero right um there are cases where it's not zero where the commutator um is not zero that is being applied to a function is not zero and this is one of those cases where momentum and position cannot be determined simultaneously because um their operators do not commute you know all right guys stay cool enjoy the rest of your day